In this video, we'll learn about the dangers of a fixed mindset. The advantages of a growth mindset may seem apparent, but many people have a fixed mindset in certain situations. This can be very counterproductive because this mindset prevents important skills from developing and growing. This, in turn, sabotages your happiness and health in the future. As an example, let's assume that you aren't a science whiz. If you keep telling yourself that you aren't a science person or that science isn't your thing, then that assertion becomes an excuse to not study science. While with a fixed mindset, you may avoid short-term failure, you are also hindering your potential to grow, learn, and acquire new skills in the long run. On the other hand, your peer with a growth mindset tries to give science a go despite failing at first. Now this person likely sees failure as a sign to continue working on their skills instead of accepting that they aren't good at something. In the long run, your peer will optimize their potential as they chose to benefit from criticism instead of ignoring it. They decided to overcome a challenge instead of avoiding it and saw a learning opportunity rather than feel threatened. So if you think things like, it's impossible to lose the weight, I'm not a natural artist, I'm not creative, or I'm a procrastinator, then you'll miss out on many experiences. In the end, you quit, don't learn as much, and it becomes decidedly harder to get any better. Here are other aspects you'll miss out on. Undermining the importance of effort. In a fixed mindset, basic qualities such as talent or intelligence are considered fixed traits. Such individuals have a tendency to document their talent or intelligence rather than develop them. They may also credit talent alone to success, without effort. When they are good at something, they gladly attribute it to their talent such as scoring high on a test or doing well on a project. However, at the same time, they also consider their shakier skills to be fixed as well. So instead of developing these skills, they tend to accept them as is with no effort invested on improvement, such as, I'm not cut out to handle a paintbrush. They accept that they are the way they are and can't get any better at it or change. The obsession to prove worth. People with a fixed mindset feel a need to prove their worth. Every scenario demands a confirmation of their personality, intelligence, or character. Every scenario is also overly evaluated, resulting in questions like, Will I succeed or fail? Will I seem dumb or smart? Will I be rejected or accepted? And so on. Although they seem desperate for approval, they are going to go beyond their capabilities to achieve the success they so badly want. They tend to get stuck because they're terrified of being disapproved that they're not willing to develop. The desire to be flawless. Taking it a step further, the problem with a fixed mindset is that it is not enough just to succeed, neither is it enough to look smart and talented. If anything, the desire is to appear pretty much flawless. So what happens in the end is that if failure means you lack potential or competence, then you are stuck being a failure. There is nowhere to go from this point. Instead, you end up focusing on avoiding failure at any cost and try to preserve feelings of success. You don't try anything new because if you don't think you'll excel at it, you don't want others to see you fail. In the end, the entire process can be very restricting and frustrating. Decreasing self-knowledge Perhaps one of the most damaging effects of a fixed mindset is that it decreases self-knowledge. Instead, the focus shifts to external rewards and validations. With this mindset, attention is taken away from internal development. By constantly striving for external recognition and signs of success, you tend to deceive not only others but yourself as well. It also takes away from who you really are. The need for constant validation. Your mindset can also impact your relationship with others. Often individuals with a fixed mindset feel insecure and expect their partners, friends, peers, and others to support them in every situation. They only want to be around people who praise them for their skills and give them confidence they were unable to establish for themselves. However, this can present problems for what if the romantic liaisons end, friendships fall out, or conflict arises among peers. Any of these situations would leave a person with a fixed mindset with low esteem, poor confidence, and a lot of doubt and fear. To summarize, here is how a fixed mindset looks at things. Skills. The fixed mindset believes this is something you're born with which can't be changed. Challenges. The fixed mindset regards this as something to avoid at all costs. There is the constant threat that a challenge could expose your lack of skill, and you tend to give up easily when in such a position. Effort. This is considered unnecessary by the fixed mind. It's something that people resort to when they aren't good enough for the job. Feedback. Feedback makes the fixed mindset get on the defensive. When given feedback, people with this mindset take it personally and consider it an exclusive attack on their performance or skills. If it isn't to their liking, they may even ignore the feedback completely. 
Setbacks. When faced with setbacks, people with a fixed mindset will put the blame on others. They also get discouraged easily and are more likely to quit completely. Remember that these are all triggers that not only establish, but also give away a fixed mindset. Switching from one to the other can be hard, but is possible. You need to watch out for these triggers because a fixed mindset can and will hold you back. Specific behaviors to move away from a fixed mindset can include the following suggestions. Listen to your inner voice. If you don't do so, it will rule your behavior in a habitual way, keeping you stuck where you are. When you find someone better than you, learn from them. When you are faced with a choice between something safe and something challenging, go for the challenge. When you hit a bump in the road, ask yourself what you can learn from it or what you can do next. When you receive feedback, don't get offended or take it as personal criticism. Think of ways how you can use this information to better your performance. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.